Hey everybody, welcome back to Fallout 4 at Story Gaming. So, I looted a lot in this area. Uh, I did that with Nick together. I'm a little confused right now as to where exactly it is I am. I'm not complaining, because apparently I spawned right next to the tapes. Which would be the Quincy police station. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not complaining. Um... We will have a, a closer look around. Whoa. Whoa, 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 What's going on? What's going on? Okay. Okay. That was kind of unexpected. <laughs> what just happened? So, so, wait. That was a... An Assaultron that basically... Interesting. Interesting. Alright. So, I'm not going to do the same thing again. Uh, I'm not spawning here. I'm spawning here. Um, and, and then we're going to run into Quincy. Uh, what the fuck just happened? Chameleon, Assaultron. Those things are dangerous without that Chameleon shit. Well, welcome, welcome to hard mode, I would say, huh? Kind of my own fault. So there's the factory. I'm a little bit overloaded, mainly because of this. But also... Because of this. Look at this bad boy. So I I modified, and that's why it's got Institute Paint. I modified a the legendary um, rocket launcher I found. Yeah, let's have a quick look. Um, so first of all, that thing, I couldn't do anything anymore in terms of... Um, uh, in terms of mods, it was already pretty good. Look at the damage that this bad boy puts out. I will definitely use that against the Assaultron, should I get a clean shot. And then there's this one, the Penetrating Quad Barrel Missile Launcher. So that thing shoots four missiles and it ignores 30% of the target resistance. And that, that's actually pretty awesome. So these two weapons I will definitely try out um, a little more here in Quincy. Is that the way in? I'm still a little bit confused as to where I am. There's probably people there. Yeah, anyways. There, yeah, there's the red rocket station. But for normal enemies, the trimmer is still good. See, I looted all these guys, and so the Quincy ruins, just so you know, on the map, are being shown already as cleared. I know an Assaultron who would disagree with that. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, as you can see, we we cleaned out good here. Okay. Okay, we have a gunner captain apparently. There's another one. Did these guys already respawn? That would be interesting. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's up there. So, how about... Where are you? Hey, this guy has got a power armor. I do not like that. I 
chill a little bit. Now oh, let's load up the vats. Shall we? Nick, can you? How are you even hitting me? Where is the other guy? Oh, is he? It looks like he is down here already somewhere. Okay. Here, Nick. How about... Wait. How about this? Okay. That was not what I had in mind, but... take it and then we try this guy again so we can now critically hit him in the head and he will take the armor wow crit to his head and he is still up and running all right see how it's done See how he likes that. Apparently he doesn't care. Hmm. Well, he doesn't seem to care about that. That's fine though. Let's try this. That was better. Look at me, how much damage that guy is doing. Okay. Since you are right there... Nick, where are you? Hey. Here. Something you need? Yeah, I need you to pick See up that stuff. See if he had anything stuff. worth taking. Count on it. Where did these two key people even come from? Weird. Now I have to go up there again. You know, I always already was there. And that's the field. I haven't been here before. Pick up some ammunition. Yeah, and I want to be careful because there's an assault drone on the loose. What I wanted to do originally is come here and read this. You see who this uh, terminal belongs to? Sturgis. All right. Sergeant Baker here. Looks like this terminal is still working. Quite the setup that Grease Monkeys got here. I'm impressed how well Clint's plan worked. Guess I should say Lieutenant Clint. After he blew out the support, we were able to rush up onto the highway itself with the cover of darkness and the height advantage. We had things wrapped up in under an hour. A group of them managed uh, to slip away. Oh, wait a second. That's the end? Okay. Good thing the lieutenant sent a detachment after them, or Tessa may have broken ranks and done it herself. Maybe if we can get these suits of power armor back in order, uh, it'll convince her to cool it. So that's from Spruce, from Surges, right? I was out visiting some friends of mine down at the Adam Cat's garage earlier, and they hooked me up with a sweet deal on a couple of suits of power armor. They're in rough shape, but nothing I can't fix up. We had to drag them uh, that one back here, since it won't start at the moment, even with a fresh fusion core. I gotta find some way to thank Fenton for helping uh, me out with that. Maybe I can pay off uh, his tab at the hole in the wall. Well, maybe part of his tab anyway. Oh, well, if you paid for three sets of power armor. And I think it was actually more, because that gunner guy also had a power armor. 
Mama Murphy's vision. I don't like this. Mama Murphy's been holed up in her room since that trader came through. She got a fresh stash of camps and when I went to make sure she's eating something, she said she's been having the sight again. Said she saw the town surrounded, then overrun. Our people dead in the streets and kept or captured. It sounds crazy. Oh my, sorry. <laughs> that was my alarm. 5.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. Just so you know when I'm recording this shit. <laughs> Our people dead in the streets are captured. It sounds crazy, but she's been right about things before. And we were able to convince Jackson to put out a call for the Minutemen. I just hope it's not too late. The Minutemen. The co uh, Colonel Hollis rolled in with the Minutemen yesterday and man did they ever get here in the nick of time. Took those gunners from behind and had them running for the hills. Marcy's been making a fuss about how few showed up, but the colonel has been assured us that others will come. In the meantime, Preston has been helping Sloane and me reinforce the walls. Shame that power armor is uh, on the fritz again. Sure would be a help carrying all that lumber. Yeah. So now we kind of know what was going on here. I am sure I already took all this. Did Quincy respawn this quickly with all the stuff? That would suck. Have I been here? Oh, look at this. Some red eggs. Let me take that off you. And again, let me save this because if the Assaultron is still here, it will definitely come for me. And in that case, I want to be prepared. Maybe if I get it from above, huh? Like a walking target right here. Yeah. No, that's definitely right, Nick. We are walking targets in here. And that's something I do not like. So, let's see. So, the police station is over there. That means... First of all, we get up here. I think I killed the guy over there. Well, it must have been over there. Or not. There's a lot of stuff that respawned because I know for a fact that I plundered all I of this. I must want to protect something awful precious. Yeah, I plundered a lot of this stuff already. It's funny that it respawned this quickly. But that also means that I have a. A lot of opposition to take care of. You can't haul my way. Yeah, I will. Come on here. I don't want to carry that power armor. Hey. Do something for you? Ah, here. Grab anything take useful. That stuff. Can do. Okay. Now I will my way. way yeah, I will make my way back over these roofs. And then see that I can get closer to the to the police station. No, wait. There was something else I wanted to show you. Because I didn't get to do that last episode. And that was up here, I guess. Was it here? That was just the ammunition. Damn. Because there's another terminal up here. Um, as you remember, 
We killed a bunch of, of named guys, right? We killed Baker. That was the guy at so, the door. Rocker went amateur butcher. Damn, I can't find it anymore. Let's see if we can make our way to the police station here. Is there even a way? Yeah. There, there, and then over there. Okay. You're on my way, Nick. Go. One thing I do not appreciate, and I need to figure out if I can use the console command for that, is that the power armor that I got from Tessa, that was the other named NPC, um, is marked as stolen. I have the same issue in the Covenant, right? Where, where stuff is being marked as stolen, despite me clearly taking over uh, ownership by killing the, the prior owner. Anomaly detected. Where are you? Where are you? Negative sensor read. Weapons perimeter movement detected. Possible stealth unit in the AO. No, it's not a stealth unit. It's just me. But where Resetting are you? Threat level. Is he in the house? Damn. Uh, I think Nick fell down. Okay. Oh, oh, look at this. Down. Scanners detecting sentient life. Alert level elevated. Is that synth? He's there. Just a graphical glitch. Damn! I cannot just go down there. It's freaking me out. Also, it's not helping. <laughs> not making any progress. So basically, I made it up here, but there is no no further way. I cannot see. I cannot make that jump. And jumping down there is also not. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself, man. I want to know where you are. And kick your butt. It's kind of like there, huh? Let's see. There it is. Here. There goes the assault tron. I'm very happy about that. That thing was really a threat. And I mean, really a threat. So, I think we can go downstairs now. Look at what I found. Some cartridges. And Long's terminal. Hey, June Long? Is that the guy? Let's see. I can't believe Mayor Jackson is actually trying to get the Minuteman out here based on Mama Murphy's drug craze hallucinations. Marcy tried to explain to him that she's just an old loon and we've been refusing to sell her camps anymore. But she's even got Sturgis convinced. Now we're going to have to board and feed a bunch of freeloaders with, l with laser muskets for nothing in return. Kaya's all excited and I'm going to have to break it to him that the Minutemen aren't actually like the stories he heard. Ooh, that's not good. 
can't believe it, she was actually right. Sloane and Irma were working, making repairs to the walls and saw them sneaking around that old warehouse. We tried to scare them off, but they were still advancing on the monorail stairs. Then, just when it looked like, when it looks like uh, they're going to break through, the Minutemen actually showed up and drove them off. They're led by a man named Colonel Hollis and Kyle is completely awestruck said he's going to join them when he gets older and has been following them around like a puppy. Can't believe this. None of the reinforcement Colonel Hollis, pro Hollis promised uh, were on their way have shown up. The gunners have been trying to find a way to get through the wall daily now. To make matters worse, while Carl was following the Minutemen, patrols, patrols around, the Minutemen patrols around, he caught a bullet in the leg. It's only nicked the bone, but he's going to have trouble walking. If we even make it through this somehow. Something's going on. We thought at first that another of the Minutemen has shown up, since it seemed like Colonel Hollis recognized him. The two of them went off to talk with Mayor Jackson and Private. Not ten minutes later, the man left and Colonel Hollis followed him to the wall, shouting about what he would do to deserters. Was that guy one of the Minutemen or not? Yeah, it was really, it was really a fuck up that happened. Ooh, look at all the stuff. Some psycho, cigar box. Some good loot here. like the old marketplace but first let me let me go to the police station oh, bottle caps. first let me get distracted again by looting of course I am getting distracted again by looting here we go where did I kill that assault tron well I'll, I'll find it Quincy Police Station. I've been here. Oh, yeah. That's where the assault run was. Nothing of that stuff is really heavy, so I can carry it myself. It's fine. And here we go. We're way over time. But honestly, I want to finish this right now. There's the police terminal. This is useless. We've went down to the parking lot, killed several of the scorps, then came out. But there seems to be just as many today. We keep killing them, but they come and keep coming back. If we just keep away from them, uh, they seem to leave us well enough alone. But Clint wants them cleared out of there. Okay. Rigged up some explosive at the parking lot so I could uh, take a break and get uh, up to the camp for a bit. The power armor we found in that church has taken a beating from the scorp, so Baker helped me rig up some better armor for it. I was about to tell him how I feel about him, but the detachment we sent after the settlers showed up. Kinda lost the mood at that point. All right. I can't fucking believe this. That asshole Clint uh, let those minutes ma minute men get away with the settlers. He says uh, they gave them a slip, but uh, how do we know he isn't playing one side against the other? He betrayed the Minutemen, how can we trust that he isn't betraying us for now, now for a better deal? I still can't believe Captain West gave that asshole the command. Interesting. Let's listen to this. Look, Tessa, the orders come down straight from Captain West. Clint has the command here, and that's just how it is. If you keep running your mouth off, he's gonna make an example of you to show that he's still in charge. And why do you think he picked you to deal with those scorps down at Super Duper Mart? Now maybe you got away with that shit back when you were running with raiders, but gunners stick to the chain of command. Besides, we wouldn't have been able to take Quincy without him, and you wouldn't have that sweet power armor. So get over it. Baker out. There you go. Gunners stick to the chain of command. I like the username, that's really funny. Anyway, I will take that holotape 
and I will f I will find the Eddie Winter tape next time. Uh, I'm, I'm way over with my recording time. So thanks everyone for watching. Today was not so much, aside from the beginning, <laughs> that was really fun. Um, well, not so much action, more like a little bit of a story episode in Quincy. And I think the next one might continue on that path. Once I found these tapes, we'll figure out what else is going on here. Thank you everyone for watching. I see you in two days. Until then, I'm Storier. Thank <laughs> you.